Now, what we're going to do is link these functions together. We're going to send an input into here, get an output, and we're going to send it right back into the other function and get the final output. And that thing, that process is called a composite function. So graphically, what we're going to do is we're going to take x values and we're going to stick them in, not just into one function, but into two functions. The first function that we're going to send them into is the g of x function. We're going to get some answer, right? Whatever the answer is, we're going to get it. But we're going to send that answer directly into another box, and in this box contains the f of x function, right? And then this is the part that usually confuses students, but should, shouldn't confuse you now. The output of this thing is written like this f of g of x. You see, the way you need to read this is, you know, order of operations. Remember order of operations? When you have nested parentheses, what do you do? You look at the inside parentheses first. You have to put the uh, value into the innermost function first. Evaluate the answer. But whatever you get out of that is what is sent into the f function. Because remember, f of x, whatever's in here, gets passed to the f function. So first you evaluate g, you get an answer, and you stick it into the f function. You go from inside to outside. Graphically, you stick a number in, calculate g of x. That number gets fed into f of x, but this is how you write it. It's called a composite function. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.